Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Gabby, if you don't already know me, and I love all things personal finance, organization, and lifestyle. Today I wanted to talk about my 2024 personal goals. If you haven't already checked out my last video, I just covered my 2024 financial goals. And today I wanted to cover the rest of my goals, all my personal goals and things that I wanna achieve in the year. So let's dive right into it. All right, let's dive into my 2023 goals and see exactly what I was able to accomplish this year and what I was not. There are also some goals that I don't think I planned very well and this is why I will be changing my system a bit in 2024. I felt like my goals were kind of random and didn't really align with me and I kind of left them on my list the whole year even though I knew I was not really interested in some of them anymore. I kind of want to avoid that next year. So so for personal goals, my first goal was to read one to two books a month, and that was just to maintain my reading. I don't have a ton of time to read. I like to do a little bit before bed, but I usually fall asleep pretty quickly. <laughs> this was a great goal, and I think that it has just kept my habit of reading in place, and I do want to maintain this one for next year. My next goal was to buy a new accent chair for my living room. This one we did do. I had a previous chair from my dad's old place that was torn to shreds by my cat. I wanted to buy a new chair, but I didn't want to really invest in something something that was too expensive because I figured the same issue would probably happen again where he was going to tear it up. So we bought one for 200 bucks on Facebook Marketplace and I actually really, really enjoy it. So this was a good one. My third goal was to start a YouTube channel and I did that. <laughs> This one has been a big goal of mine for years, so I'm very, very proud of myself for starting this channel. Next one was to go on two to three trips to new places. I did do this one. I went to Nashville and Greece, and then I also went to Mexico. Not new, but another trip. I wanted to make a new friend. That was a goal I ticked off. I wasn't sure I was going to because it's very hard to make friends in your 20s, but I had some acquaintances that I knew through friends that I wasn't very close with in previous years that I have definitely built better relationships with over the years. So I will give myself that one. I wanted to lower my alcohol intake max six drinks a week. So that six drinks came from the studies that I read about when Canada redefined their limits of how much they suggest people should be drinking. So they dropped the number to, I think max six drinks a week was like the, you should not go beyond that at all. So I did want to lower my alcohol intake to max six drinks a week just to be in line with that. I on average think I did that. I definitely think that over the year, I definitely tapered my drinking down quite a bit. I don't think it's exactly where I want it to be. I do want to get better about this one, but it is a work in progress. All right, next up was I wanted to get some shelves slash art for my living room and my office. So I did do that in the living room and I started this in my office. I haven't hung up the art yet, but I did purchase some art for the office. So this one has been completed. My next goal was to go skiing. I didn't do this one, honestly. It is just such an expensive hobby and it has been really difficult to get myself organized to do this with some friends. A lot of my friends have passes to Whistler, so that would be the place that I would most likely have to tag along with them to, and that would be like $500 for a one-time situation. So yeah, I don't know if this one's gonna be on my list for 2024. Next up, I wanted to do a pottery class, and I still really wanna do this one. I think pottery looks so fun, and I think that would be such a cool hobby to have. I just didn't get around to this one. I wanted to travel around the Gulf Islands more. So where I live, there are a bunch of really beautiful islands nearby that you can get to with different ferries. And it's actually not that hard to get to them. You know, some of them take a couple hours to get to, but you can definitely do some day trips and explore some of the islands. And I did do this. I went to Galliano in the summer. And my final personal goal was to do more local community activities. I kind of did this. I started doing more fitness classes in 2023, but I definitely think I could have done more, but I will give myself this one because it was more than the year before. All right, financial goals. We covered that in my last video. If you are interested, I will leave it linked up here. Here. For relationship goals, I wanted to call my family at least once a week. I probably could take this one off. I do think I called at least one person for my family once a week, but I think that that was probably the same amount I had done the year before. So I don't think I really improved and I would like to see some improvement before taking it off. I will update this one a little bit for 2024. Next up, I wanted to go on a monthly date night with my partner. We did do that. I would say, I think we definitely skipped some months, but I think on average, almost every month, we did at least one date night. I wanted to go to, on two trips with my partner. Me and him did more solo trips this year so he went on a boys trip with his friends to Europe and I went on a girls trip to Greece so we <laughs> kind of prioritize having our friends trips this year but next year we are going to prioritize going on a trip 
just the two of us. I wanted to see my grandpa two times this year, which I did do. I just saw him yesterday. I love my little grandpa. Hi, grandpa. And I wanted to do more girls' nights. So I wanted to get my core group of girls together a lot more often. We are very busy. It is very hard for us to all be together in a room, but I do think we did a good job of this in 2023. All right, health goals. I wanted to hit a 350 pound hip thrust. This was something I was very, very close to at the beginning of the year, but I don't think I was doing it with good form and I was a little bit below 350. So I did not take this one off. I wanted to get a pull up and I've wanted to get a pull up for two years now. And I just don't know if it's in the cards for me. I am very bottom heavy and a little bit weaker in my upper body strength. So I just, ugh. I just haven't been able to get close on this one. Like honestly, not even close. Next, I wanted to do a planned and realistic cut. So I wanted to give myself enough time to cut safely and in a way that didn't feel, didn't make me feel like I was deprived of food. I feel like I can get kind of obsessive with my food if I feel like I can't have certain things. So I didn't want that. I do think I did a great job with this one. I cut for my trip going to Greece. I like wanted to lean out a little bit and I gave myself about a month and a half to do it. And I just found it easier to have an end date, a target date. And I think that it was pretty successful for me. So I gave myself a tick on that one. I wanted to see a naturopath for my hormones and my blood work. I did do this in November. I wanted to stick to 10 to 14 week programs. So this is like weight training programs. You wanna to stick to a program for at least about 10 weeks to see results. And I have done that throughout the year. I bought Chrissy Chella's app, Evolve You, I think it's called. So I've been using that to plan my programming. And finally, I wanted to try a fitness class every month. So I did this for the first six months. And then I just kind of realized, I don't think that paying for fitness classes is aligned with how I want to spend my money. I enjoy my free gym in my building a lot more than most of the classes I was doing. It's just not something I really thought about too much when I put this on my goals list. This is one where I really don't think I needed to keep it on my goals, really. I probably should have just gotten rid of it at some point. And career goals. So I wanted to get two raises at work. I did do that. I just recently got a raise. I wanted to build some new organizational systems and stick with them. So I implemented a Notion to-do list that I've been using religiously every week at work, and that has been great. I wanted to take on more managerial responsibilities at work. I have started doing this quite a bit more. I wanted to set one to two career related goals every month. I didn't do this. And I think I kind of struggled with this because some months I am just trying to meet my deadlines. I don't really have a lot of room to, you know, set specific goals to progress myself in my career. Sometimes we were just trying to get by. So I did struggle with this a little bit. Next up, I wanted to try using time blocking and I did implement this more often this year, but I don't think I really built a habit out of it. And that is something I do want to bring into my work next year. And finally, I wanted to use my works program for taking a, an online course. I am hoping to do this actually at the beginning of this year. So yeah, that was all my 2023 goals. And now let's cover my new 2024 goals. We will start with personal. I am really wanting to focus on my sleep this year. I have noticed that throughout the year, I have let my sleep slide quite a bit, especially with YouTube. I've noticed that that just seems to be a lot of additional work that I have just taken from my sleep schedule to fit. So I do need to be better about getting to bed at a specific time. And I think that 10 PM is a great time for me to start out with. I was going to bed about 1130. So 10 would be great. It's a big shift. Next up, I want to post one to two videos a week on YouTube. I've currently been doing two a week. I think that I can do that for the most part. There are definitely going to be weeks where that just doesn't work. If I have a busier week at work or I have some personal life stuff happening, then I don't think I'll be able to do two, but I think one is fine. I also want to be flexible with this if I miss a week. I'm not going to beat myself up about it, but I do want to make sure I just get back next week to uploading again. Next up, I want to get better at editing and filming. So I feel like I'm starting to get the hang of editing, but I do think I could speed things up and be more efficient. And I think that is something I want to get better with right away. And then after that, I want to get better at just making more engaging and high quality content. So something that's a little bit more fun to watch. I want to post more short form content. I definitely need to be better about posting shorts on here, but I'm always filming in horizontal and I just never think to film the other way. And then things don't really crop well. So, but I will be working on that. I want to buy about 10 to 20% of my purchases either at thrift stores or from sites like Facebook Marketplace and Poshmark. And that is just to lower my overall shopping expenses and just to be a little bit more um, 
sustainable. That's the word. <laughs> and I want to create a Notion template I love. So I have been working at figuring out Notion, honestly, but I have been making a new template for myself. I think a lot of templates that other people use just aren't completely functional for every single person and you need to be able to know how to tweak them and change them for yourself so I have been working on that and then I wanted to carry forward my goal of reading at least one book a month all right and final goal I want to redo my office on a budget I think my office just needs quite a bit of tweaking to be more functional we don't have any closed storage everything is like open and visible and I am a very stressed out person when there's clutter around me so I find that I, I just kind of feel anxiety when I'm sitting in my office and I just don't think that that's the best feeling so I want to just, you know, put some better art up on the walls, make it look nice and find some better organizational systems without spending too much money. All right, let's dive into my health goals. So my biggest health goal for the year is I want to run a half marathon. I started running in 2023 and I absolutely fell in love with it. I was running a 10K almost every single week. So I do think a half marathon should be fine to train for, but I will be starting that training in the new year. So yes. I want to do a sober week every month and this is in alignment with just trying to lower my alcohol intake and trying to just be a little bit healthier overall. I think that having one week where I commit to being 100% sober just helps me say no at social events. Sometimes I struggle with saying no <laughs> at social events. I'm like, ah, one drink's fine. And it's just like so unnecessary and I would like to cut out those random drinks entirely. Next up, I want to go to therapy. This is a big one I talked about in my financial goals and I will be making more room in my health budget for therapy. I want to go probably at least once a month and then talk to a therapist from there on how much I really should be going, but I will have to pay for quite a bit of this out of pocket. I do have some coverage through my work. It's not that much, so I do need to plan to cover my therapy. Next up, I want to go to the optometrist. It has been three years since I've gone and I need to go. That is that. Next up, I want to get my ferritin levels to 100. So I have been losing my hair. I talked about this a little bit in a previous video. My hair has been falling out in clumps and I finally went to a naturopath and a dermatologist and they both confirmed that I likely have stress related hair loss because I have such low ferritin levels and my body kind of freaked out that I had such low ferritin. And ferritin is like stored iron and I have been vegetarian for 10 years and vegan for a good chunk of that. So I never took iron supplements. So if you are a vegetarian right now and a woman, please take iron supplements, get your blood work checked often because hair will start falling out if you you don't learn from my mistake. Next up, I want to get micro needling done this year. So this is something that my naturopath talked to me about that she thought it would really improve the texture of my skin. I have a lot of scarring from years and years of acne. And now that I'm not dealing with so many active breakouts, she said it would be a good time to start doing micro needling to heal my texture. So that is something I want to do this year. And then I want to hit my 350 pound hip thrust, carrying this over from last year. I am hoping I can do this, but I might be more focused on my running goals. And so I'm not sure if like building muscle will be as big of a goal for this year as more endurance activity will be. I'm still going to be lifting every week. It's just unlikely that I will be pushing my weight so much. I would have to go quite a bit, probably 50 more pounds than what I'm currently doing. So that is quite a change. Let's go to my relationship goals. So I only have four right now. And my first one is I want to take a trip with my boyfriend. We, as I mentioned, prioritized doing more friends trips, more girls, guys trips last year. So we do want to take a trip, just the two of us and enjoy some time away with just us. And then I want to do two intentional date nights a month. I want one to be a date night out at a restaurant and then I want one to be a date night at home or a free date night where we plan an activity and do it together and it's low cost and we just spend time together. I want to see my friends more but I want to drink less. So as my overall goal of the year was just to lower my alcohol intake, I noticed that a lot of the times my friend gatherings revolved around alcohol, whether that be going to a bar after work on Fridays or meeting up to watch a, you know, game somewhere and having a beer and I just wanted to see my friends more in fun healthy contexts like going for hikes going to the beach going on trips things like that and finally I want to carry forward my goal of calling my family more and I want to implement more FaceTimes in that so I can have that one-to-one -one connection with my favorite people let us go over to my career goals so I didn't include any of my nine to five career goals here I do have quite a few but they're pretty specific and a little bit more private so I will not be covering those but these are more related to YouTube and my Etsy store so I want to hit two thousand dollars on <laughs> in sales on Etsy this is a completely random number and I genuinely don't know how much I should aim for I, I don't want to have a number that's too hard to achieve but I also 
want a number that's still like something I have to work at, but I have no idea. I have no idea how many sales I'll be getting on Etsy. So I will likely have to update this after my first quarter, but it's just a temporary goal for now. And next I want to build five additional financial and organizational products to sell on Etsy. So I will be listing my budget spreadsheet there soon. And then after that, I want to list at least five more products that are all organization or financial related. And after that, I want to consider selling a Notion template. If I find a template that really works for me, one that I think is beautiful and easy and simple, then I would like to share that with you guys. And my last two goals are related to getting monetized on YouTube. So I would love to get monetized on YouTube in 2024. So for that, I would need a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch time hours. So I'm hoping to do that in this year. All right, and those are all of my goals for the years. Please let me know what your 2024 goals are in the comments below. I would love to hear them. I am looking forward to this year so, so much. I will be doing my January reset following this one. So we will go over the budget for January and setting up my new budget tracker for the 2024 year. And then after that, I will follow up with a plan with me video. If you would like to subscribe, I would really appreciate that. And if you give me a thumbs up, I would also love that. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.